going on guys? That Red WJ here. Uh, and today we're going to be tackling the driver's side wheel bearing on the WJ. Um, Jamie is going to help me. He's letting me use his brand new Milwaukee Fuel Impact, uh, electric impacts, and she's a mean mother. I'm going to go get that and show that to you real quick. So this is Jamie's brand new Milwaukee Fuel Brushless uh, M18 Red Lithium XC50. Um, this thing is mean. He has yet to use it. So I get to break his virginity. So I can't wait. I'm going to rip the uh, lug nuts off with this. I'm going to get the Jeep jacked up. And uh, yeah, this thing's going to be lovely. I can't wait. So I'm going to get the Jeep jacked up and I'll get back with you guys in a second. Wonderful. All right, guys, we're back. I'm gonna move you. We're gonna get a close up. Oh. That's okay. All right, now that you guys fell off the stand, we're gonna get a close up of Bertha ripping this wheel off. Jamie gets to see this brand new impact shine for its first time. Let's see what we got here. All right. Here we go. Oh yeah. That's cake. She's asking for more. Milwaukee. A three quarter drive and a one inch drive that uses them very same batteries. Yeah, that's nice. And yeah, no, all the batteries are interchangeable with the uh, Milwaukee half inch impact or in the the well, the quarters. M18 series is all interchangeable, yeah. and then the M12 series is all interchangeable. And now, guys, now that uh, I'm putting this new wheel bearing in, I'll have a fifth stud, which will be nice. So, um, right now, we're just going to try and get this uh, nut off after I get the uh, brakes off. i got to find the rest of the tools I need to get the brakes off. And then uh, I'll get with you guys as soon as I get the brakes off. Alright guys, so Jamie's heating up the cotter pin to try and get it out, because um, it's just all dicked, so. I'm trying something new, I haven't done this before. I figure, want to try and cook some of the rust out. Man. Figures if he, uh, he sets the Jeep on fire, he's got plenty more he can give me, so. <laughs> I'm hoping the uh, cotter pin just kind of falls apart at this point. I don't have a new one, unfortunately, so. You know, but I know Jamie has something on board the service truck to replace it. So we'll get back with you in a minute as soon as uh, we get to the next step. All right, guys, so uh, Jamie's taking the uh, caliper off. As you can see, he has a uh, socket on the, uh, the um, axle nut, and he successfully did not break anything on my brakes, so that's nice. And he's, he almost let it hang by the hose. That would have been great. Can you go get yes. on the, uh, you want. Fun. the green thing? It's hanging on the, the shelf where all the sockets are. There should be one up there. A bungee? No, it's a green S hook. Oh, okay. It's huge. And uh, I guess we're not going to find the tap tap without more keys. That ain't going to work. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys, so as you can see, Jamie is nicely hanging our uh, caliper up. Right after I just tried to use it as a hammer. On the coil spring. And uh, now we're going to see if this big bitch can take this axle nut off. He's been heating it up along with the uh, cotter pin while he was... Oh, 
that's never, oh yeah that's never been taken off i can tell you that right now Woo. that's never come off let me go get mr tap tap mr tap tap is is the uh mini sledge we call him mr tap tap any size hammer he says is mr tap tap but uh i'm gonna get myself a seat real quick Got my uh, new rolly seat. I don't know if you guys can see it. Jamie just gave it to me because it's taking up space in the service truck. So got me a good seat. And he said the seat needs bolted down. It's pretty comfortable. It's not bad. A little bit hot, but it's all right. So uh, he got the axle nut off and didn't destroy the threads, thank God. Um, I'm assuming... I don't know if I can have the wheel turned while I, uh, while I, uh, take the, uh, wheel bearing off. I don't know. I have no idea. I've never done this before. And then one thing that's concerning me right now, that I just saw, is how close this rotor is to that ball joint. That is very close. That, that scares me a little bit with how close it is, but I guess that's, uh, just how they designed the WJs, so whatever. So, anyway, he's gonna get the rotor off and maybe maybe get the rotor off. I can't find the tap tap I'm looking for. Oh, he's gonna use a ball peen. That should do the trick. Maybe. As long as he taps it in the correct vicinities. If you need me to move something, let me know. It, it, Get it? Yeah, it, it came loose on the bottom. Put it on top on the right. I'm trying to be gentle with the rotor. Do me, I guess not. So the Jeep is in park, but um, as you can see, Jamie is spinning the rotor. And the reason that's working is because it's a quadra drive and it puts power to whatever wheels are on the ground and releases power. Um, I can't believe that rotor won't come off. We anti seized it, and that, it's a, that's a newish rotor. Well, I don't want to damage the fuck out of it. Yeah, I would rather you not. So anyway, so the reason Jamie's doing this and I'm not is because Jamie knows how to get everything apart without destroying it. Um, I could do it myself, but the other reason is because we have, Jamie has all of his service truck tools. Um, you know, I told you guys before, he's a fleet mechanic uh, for tractor trailers, so he has all the heavy duty tools. And, uh, you know, I, I do labor for him, he does labor for me. And this is pretty much just making sure my Jeep's road safe, um, helping me out because, you know, my little boy rides in my Jeep all the time. So he kind of does this as a, as a favor and as well as, you know, for the, for the good of my boy helping me out here. So, um, I don't know. I, I haven't told you guys the backstory behind me and Jamie, but we've been friends since I was 13 and I'm now 23. I'll be 24 in December. Um, so... We're going on 10, we're actually just past 10 years of being friends, and we're the only two that have never switched up on each other in, the, in our little friend group, and uh, Jamie's done so much for me, I can't even fucking describe, but he always helps me out in my time of need, lends me money here and there if I desperately need it, and then I, you know, I always pay him back, but anyway, so basically he's going to heat the rotor up for a little bit until we can kind of get it loose. Um, I don't know why it's not coming off. We anti seized it when we put it on. Uh, so. If I'd have gotten the big tap tap and I'd have hit it, I'd have probably made, done some serious damage to it, but it would have come off. Yeah. But anyway, so we'll get back with you guys uh, as soon as we get the rotor off and get to the next step. Alright, guys, we're back. 
Um, Jamie just tapped the CV axle in a little bit to get access to the... Uh, well, it wasn't to get access, it was to make sure it moved. Uh, well, to make sure it moved, sorry. To get, you know, now he's uh, wire brushing the uh, bolt for the wheel bearing to get that off so we can uh, put the new one on. The heat doesn't conduct as well when it's dirty. Yeah, so he's going to heat it up with the torch then and uh, we're going to get it off. So that's where we're at right now. Get back with you in a minute. All right, guys. So as you can see, he got one of the wheel bearing bolts loose. Um, still not loose enough. Still not loose enough, he says. <laughs> but anyway, um, and if Jamie sounds funny, it's because he just had his top teeth uh, fixed uh, up. 15 in the top and four on the bottom. Yeah, he had some teeth removed, so he's going to sound a little funny, but that's all right. But anyway, so uh, my number one thing about footage of working on the Jeep is making sure it's not shaky. Um, so if you guys notice any shaking at all, let me know. But this tripod I have you on is pretty pretty well balanced, and it has rubber boots. So it's, uh, it's doing pretty good. And bolts don't look too bad either. Uh, I don't, don't want to come though. Because I used the wrong size. It's supposed to be a 13 millimeter 12 point, but I do not have a 13 millimeter 12 point in half inch drive. I only have three eighths. So basically, what he's saying is he kind of dicked up the bolt, but it's whatever. No, I, I put too small a socket on. Uh, well, whatever. It is what it is. But they're roughly a very close size, so it's okay. But anyway, so I know you guys can't really see what he's doing, but that's all right. Um, so, uh, can you fetch that please, sir? It's a pretty simple process. He's just removing the wheel bearing bolt. And we have a uh, brand new shiny Duralas junk. junk wheel bearing. I'll show it to you guys. This is the AutoZone Special, 66 bucks. The lady at the counter guaranteed me two years with wheeling the Jeep. Oh, that's fancy. So. With wheeling the Jeep, eh? She said, with wheeling the Jeep. I even told her I wheel it. And she said, she said, you get at least two years out of it. If not, she said, make sure you keep the receipt. She said, take it off the Jeep, bring it back, and I'll give you another one free. Oh, man. That sounds like a fucking deal to me. That's what I said, so. It's uh, it's brand new, nice and shiny. Shouldn't make no noise. She spins real nice. Oh, 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 oh. Not on far enough. So, we'll get back with you as soon as we get this wheel bearing off. All right, guys. I actually got back to you a little bit late, but Jamie was just taking one of the bolts out and he uh, he dinged up the fender on the WJ. I can't believe it. Oh my God. There's you know. This thing's in mint condition, and he just dings the fender. Mint! <laughs> this thing's mint, and he just dings the fender. He said, oh, screw it. You don't know the definition of mint. Uh, you know the key's not on, right? How are you turning that with the key off? Because I got the power of zip ties on my side. <laughs> well, hopefully Jamie does not destroy the uh, steering system in the Jeep. That'd nah, be okay. Anyway, so, yeah, he, uh, he dinged up the fender a little bit. I wish I would have caught it. He said, oh, it's a trail rig. It loves the damage. So, it is what it is. And uh, pretty sure I showed you guys that, you know, someone keyed the fucking Jeep on, bo on both doors, front doors. And whoever, oh, yeah. whoever did it, whoever did it could have at least had the balls to break a window. But, no, they just decided. Really? Yeah, why? Yeah, come what, on. You want your insurance company to pay for it? Yeah. They, I, my insurance don't pay for a scratch in the door. Don't encourage her to break a window next time. Well, I don't know who it was. She says it wasn't her. We're not going to say it was Kate on camera, but, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyway, so. I heard word on the street different. Yeah, well, it wouldn't surprise me. Love you, honey, if you if you watch this. If Ain't not, nobody watches your dumb video. Hey, you know what? Some, there's, there's people that, 11 people that watched the last video. Ooh, uh, and I'm up to 60 ooh, subscribers fancy. now. Fancy. Go get my smokes. All right. Be right back, guys. Alright, Jamie asked me to keep the camera recording. 
because he's about to do the good part. So. If you are trying to shave your wheel bearing, this is not how to go about it. But if you are replacing your bearing, have fun. Just give her a couple, a couple log taps from the back, and she will eventually work her good old self out of there. Like so. On the hood of uh, this ugly Jeep. Oh. However, recovering, recovering your axle could be a bit tricky if she's not interested in coming along for the party. But she's coming out. So, just have to be careful. Don't, don't nick up the tone ring on these WJs. ABS light will lose its mind. And also, don't go. pull your CV axle all the way out if you uh, can avoid it. Now, you, you can pull it all the way out, uh, but if you do take it out, just make sure you clean up the dirt while you're in there. Um, always try to clean up inside of this hole here. Maybe put a little bit of, of that anti seize on there when you put it back together. Got a wire what's left of the wire brush here somewhere. Clean it up. So as you can see, Jamie always goes the correct way about doing things. I try to for the most part. He, he is a very good mechanic. I will give him that. He's a very, very good mechanic. Uh, he was a car mechanic before he was a diesel mechanic. So he did work on gasoline vehicles before, but now he's a fleet mechanic. So go get me some of that silver slop. Uh, in that lay down cabinet towards the back. I don't know if you can see it, but this right here is what Juicy looks like. There's a little bit of wiggle wobble play in there. Let's get a close up of that. You should not be able to hear that. And she's making noise and she's wobbling a bit. So that that oh, is that sounds juicy. That is my big big problem here. Just get you guys a little bit set up. Uh, the better. stuff I'm looking for is in a jar with a with a lollipop stick. Okay. Find it. Yep. Any seeds. Beautiful. There we go. Okay, go take this and find me a, um, a black craftsman socket on the blue rack that fits that. A little anti-slip in there. We'll come off a little nicer next time. Because this is a Jeep and we will be doing this again. slides all the way in there. Half inch fits perfect. Okay, go get me the long handled flex head 3H drive ratchet. Okay.
It might be laying inside the door. As you guys can see, I'm Jamie's bitch when it comes to getting the tools, because he's doing the job, so, and that's okay. It's because I'm the mechanic and you're the truck driver. That's right. <laughs> so, anyway, as you can see, Jamie got the new wheel bearing on. He's, he's dinging around and messing with I'm trying with to some, recover my socket. He's trying to get his socket back. My Jeep likes to steal his sockets. Move you guys over a little bit. You guys over here Let's see should be focused still and yeah you can see that shiny new wheel bearing on there hub bearing they are all, one assembly um, the wheel bearing and hub bearing on these WJs so um, and the part number I'll get you the part number beautiful okay I got one more bolt where's it at Guys, the part, the part number, uh, if you, you're going to go buy the uh, hub assembly, is D, as in dog, L513159. Uh, it says, hub assembly, Duralist, um, OE bearing design for superior quality and ease of insulation. Induction hardened steel for improved bearing life and performance, and preloaded with premium grease to reduce friction and wear. Hey bud, you, uh, I think you set your camera stand on top of a bolt that I need. Oh, okay. There's a good possibility it is underneath. This one? Yeah, that one. Beautiful. So, that's the uh, part number for that. Um, and they are the same. Um, all the, as long as it's a four-wheel drive, it doesn't matter if it's all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive or whatever. Um, they are all the same, so... Um, I don't know if anybody will notice, but the tie rod end on the driver's side did get rubbed or nicked somewhere, maybe by a stick or something. I don't know if that is an issue or not. Um, I'm going to try to hit it with some grease then on the grease fitting and just kind of pack it just so I know it's going to be okay temporarily. Um, but me and Jamie are going to do tie rod ends on this eventually when we get time. Well, when Jamie gets time anyway. I will show you how to do a redneck alignment with a tape measure. <laughs> So, or if I have the alignment bar with, we can use that. But anyway, so I'll get back to you guys as soon as we get um, the rotor back on and everything and get everything kind of put back together and uh, figure out where we're at. I'm trying to. All right, so as you guys can see, um, Jamie is taking a file to the um, CV axle bolt nut thing whatever you want to call if it you hit on the end of it with a hammer there's a good possibility that you're going to mushroom the end over yeah so and when you do that the um the nut doesn't fit so well anymore so you have to take a file and or a, a little grinder or anything you can to take the mushrooming off and that way you can get the nut back on without destroying anything and cross-threading it because cross-threading is no fun so basically he's just cleaning it up that way the nut will go back on he's going all around it to everywhere he kind of mushroomed it the the important part of the thread starts like half an inch in anyhow yeah so, so. he's gonna get the nut back on now the question is will it cooperate and get back on maybe Figured you could probably screw it on a little further by hand. That's why I said maybe clean up the threads with a wire brush. These ones here look like they were initially threaded out to the end. Yeah, you want to clean them up with a wire brush just to be sure. Just so you don't dick them all up. Well, I think I still have some more what you got. Oh, okay. Yep, I got more down here. Okay, so that was a problem. There's just a little more mushrooming. He's going to clean it up and get the nut on. 
You always want to work your file in one direction. Don't drag it backwards or you'll dull it out. However, if you go to an auction and purchase your files to get the good old ones, eh, fairly cheap anyhow. So you win some, you lose some, basically. But should be able to get the nut on here in a minute and get this all put back together and then we'll take the Jeep for a test drive and see how it, how it handles. I'm going to check the power steering fluid before we leave as well. Just because we've been turning the wheel back and forth quite a bit with the Jeep turned off. So. Does that not have a certain direction? Is there a taper on either side? No. Okay. Yeah, like I said before, um, the cool part about the quad drive is that you can spin one axle while the other three are on the ground um, due to the way the system's set up. I'm not worried about it. Anything Jamie breaks, he will replace. So I figured, you know, it is what it is. I trust him as a, as a decent mechanic to not fucking destroy everything. But anyway, you know, we don't, we don't do everything by the book anyway, so what's the point? Looks like you might have got the nut on far enough to maybe start it. So basically how he's going to do this is, is put the, the socket on a uh, ratchet and just get it started. That way he knows it's on straight and it doesn't cross thread when he hits it with the impact. That's yeah. the... That's... You can feel it in the ratchet if it starts getting snug somewhere really weird you'll be able to tell that's cross threading but it feels like we got her going on good now yeah the safe way to do this is to is to start it with a ratchet and then once once it's past the end of the the nut or past the end of the uh, the, the axle you know, then you can just smack it and jamie was not prepared for the power of that that impact no it shot some junk in my face oh yeah well. to give a couple extra ooga doogas with the uh, impact that way you know she's on beautiful so cool do we have enough lug nuts to put this bitch back together yeah i got five sitting there i beautiful. just gave you that brand new one just got it out of the package because i've only had four studs since since you know yeah we're rocking half a jeep here yeah it's okay but now we got five studs so now we're safe now we're, we're regulated to pen dots laws Off on the torch. Even though, even though they don't maintain even Jeep-worthy roads around here. You are not wrong, here, buddy. <laughs> All right, we're gonna back you guys up as well as ourselves, so Jamie can work here and do what he has to do. Oh, uh, it went on the first try without even cussing at it. Yeah, they're twenty ones. Sometimes it helps. If you have the right socket. Well, they're not originally 21s. They were something else. I forget what they were, but... Factory, they are 19 with the chrome cap. That's right, yeah. Without the chrome cap, they are an 18. And if your chrome cap is swelled up, then you are going to be wanting to hunt for a 20 millimeter socket, which is rather challenging to find. Unless you work in a shop and have access to a tool truck, such as Snap One where I got my 20 millimeter. Right, but I, I actually opted out to a 21 millimeter uh, lug nut. Replacement aftermarket that does not use the chrome cap. It's a regular steel lug nut. Right. The whole thing is chrome plated instead of a chrome tin. Basically, so I know it's not gonna bust. Those lug nuts will last probably as long as I have the Jeep, if not, you know. The, they weren't expensive to replace all of them, believe it or not. Actually, to get all, um, all 20 of them, it was, <laughs> I want to say 40, 48 dollars. As you can see, Jamie is just tapping, he's just tapping them. All right, lower the jack so I can check the torque with manually. Ready? Yep, clear. Okay, 
impact. Is it brand new? I don't. Oh wow! Yeah, she's snug with just a only a nugget dugga and a half. And we're using, uh, I think it's a 28 inch Matco 88 tooth, so it doesn't take a lot of a lot of effort to get the correct torque. Which should be somewhere around 80, 90, maybe 110 tops. But we believe, don't have a torque wrench with us today, so we're not going to worry about it. Yeah, I believe they're actually 80 pounds. I believe that's what the foot poundage is for these. But anyway, so the Jeep's back together. Um, it's on the ground. It's uh, it's tight. The wheel doesn't look cambered at all. I'm going to straighten it out real quick and get a, a real good look at it and see what I think. A lot of the camber problem was the uh, wheel bearing. I knew that. All right, guys. So, as you can see, as you can see, sorry about that honk. That was random. The wheel is no longer cambered. Thank God. Now the passenger side does have a little bit of camber, and I, I, I almost guarantee that's the tie rod ends. I know almost, almost know for a fact that's the tie rod ends, because that one, that wheel bearing is fine in that one. So we're gonna take it for a test drive after we get the tools cleaned up, and uh, I'll let you guys know how it is. Um, there's really no point in me recording because I'm going to have to get it up to highway speed and get a feel for it. So that's going to cut it for this video. Big thank you to Jamie for letting me use his truck. Uh, you know, well, his tools anyway. So the Jeep's running. It's on the ground. Everything's cool. Um, definitely, I can't wait to feel it with the new uh, wheel bearing. It's going to be awesome. I'll check the power steering fluid before I leave. So um, this should be a, this will be a big improvement handling wise and uh, not have to deal with all the kerfuffle of it making a grinding and slapping noise all the time uh, and I'm gonna make a sharp left turn to see if it binds up at all um, because it was binding really bad with that wheel bearing and Jamie said that was a big problem with that so that's gonna cut it for this video thank you Jamie I appreciate you yeah. and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one